Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I am back with some new releases, some new fragrances on the market that you need to know about, okay? And also some new fragrances in my collection. So before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in. I'm gonna start with the new releases, okay? Uh, we have in here one, two, three, four, kind of five, actually six, five or six, depending how you consider one of them, because one of them is the same fragrance, they just changed the bottle. But let's start with the new releases. You know, I really, really, really like this house. Normally, yes, maybe I'm working with the house once. Uh, I like a fragrance from them, but this house in particular, they have lots of fragrances, that's true, but I also love so many of them. And they have two new releases. I'm talking about Maisa. Maisa is a fragrance brand, a niche brand that has fragrances that are also more affordable. They have more expensive ones. I do have a coupon code for them. If you live in the UK, um, I have a coupon code for the website that sells Maisa. They have body mist, they have lots of things. Okay, discovery sets, all of that. So you can definitely try them if you want as well. The first one is Ville Lumiere. This fragrance is a little bit too cold outside for it, but for the springtime especially, first of all, let's talk about the packaging. It looks like like little doors or like walls, or I really like what they did with this, um, with this box. And here we have the beautiful bottle this fragrance literally smells like luxury. This is everything I'm gonna tell you. This fragrance smells like luxury. Let's spray it. I love their automizer. Look at that. How fine is that? Right. This fragrance, it's unisex for sure. It's a little bit woody, but it's fruity and refreshing in the same time. Some of the notes are gonna be pineapple, white woods, lemon, grapefruit, rosemary, musk, and this is what you're getting. You're getting this woody fragrance in the background, but then it's very citrusy, airy, aromatic, and it just smells very, very luxurious. Like it smells like you're walking to a luxury store. It's, it's that type of scent that you, when you smell it, it literally screams screams luxury. This is what it does. Again, it's, it's not just for the springtime, don't get me wrong. It's spring, summer and fall as well. It's just right now it's raining and I'm like, why? Like if you're indoors, this is going to smell absolutely amazing. It's that type of scent. It's that type of scent. It's, it has rosemary. I don't really know how that smells like. I don't like to be the type of um, content creator, you know, that reviews fragrances and just pretend that knows every single note how it smells. I don't. I, I'm telling you, I don't. I don't know how rosemary smells like. But if it's meant to have like a rosy, maybe a bit piney scent, then yeah. Musk is barely there. It's just in like in the background. It's a very clean mask. Again, me, I don't like musk, okay? But I don't smell, it's not that super strong mask in your face. No, it's barely there, just like super clean mask in the background. But it's mainly, yeah, like very clean woods, white woods make sense. And then the grapefruit, it's a little bit fruity from the pineapple. It's that super luxurious scent, super calming and just, oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. But the next one, I kind of love it more, okay? The next one. We're having a red box this time, and we're gonna have a red bottle as well. This one is L'Amour Eterne, Etern, something like that. I'm gonna stop excusing my French because I already told you a billion times. Same design for the bottle. This time, this one is red. How sexy is the bottle? Like, how sexy is that? Anyway, the fragrance. I really like it in the opening, but the, look at that mist. Uh, really liking the opening, but the dry down is everything. Okay. Okay. This one has lots of fruity notes, okay? This one has some apricot, bergamot, you're getting mandarin, you're getting mango, you're getting nectarine, you're getting peach. 
but then you're getting lots of white flowers as well you have jasmine you have gardenia and then the dry down you have some caramel and some honey for me the opening is pretty much lots of white flowers with lots of fruits and citruses okay but then in the dry down those white flowers are not that strong anymore and then you start to get that caramel the honey the vanilla so it's like very sweet fruits in the dry down i know that all of the fruity notes are just in the opening but for me they stay they definitely stay uh the whole time you can smell them it's very refreshing in the opening okay you're getting that mandarin you're getting that bergamot so it's going to be very refreshing in the opening so for the opening you're like oh nice spring summer again like fruity floral airy and then you have to wait for the dry down when that vanilla that honey and that caramel when they kick in and you're still left with those fruits it's unbelievable good like the dry down of this again i need to wait five ten more minutes but when it dries down it's so good. I sprayed both of them on my hand when I got them. And I was like, oh, I really like this one. Oh, I really like this one. And then suddenly after like 10, 15 minutes, I was like, what is that? What is that? And then I realized there's actually this fragrance. Because I started to smell that caramel and that vanilla combined. You're still getting a little bit of white flower, but getting mainly the fruits and all of those sweet notes. Highly recommend you try this brand. Not necessarily just these two fragrances, just the brand in general. I've reviewed so many of the fragrances. Uh, just literally type my name and then uh, type my size. Well, you're going to find reviews for lots of fragrances because this is a house that I really, really like. I really like to work with, okay? Because there's literally no pressure from them. Um, if I like something, I'm going to review it. If I don't like something, I'm not going to review it. I have fragrances from them that maybe were not my cup of tea, so I didn't review them. So there's literally no pressure for me to review these fragrances. But yeah, these two are, are fantastic. These two and that's two new releases. So if you don't live in the UK, because not everyone lives in the UK, okay? And, and it's still sunny outside, 100% you need to try them. 100% you need to try them because both of them, especially um, this one, what's the name? Uh, Ville Lumiere. This smells so, 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 so expensive. And this one is more like fruity, fun, vanilla, caramel, all of that. So yeah, Maisa, uh, if you live in the UK, like I said, I have a coupon code. I'm going to leave it in the description box. But definitely, definitely, it's a brand that you need to check out. Moving on, not necessarily a new release, but a new presentation. Roja changed completely their bottles for the Essence collection. This one is Reckless, and this is how the new bottle look like. I have the old one over here. Uh, I'm not sure. Can you see it? Let me. I'm not really sure if you can see it. That's the old bottle, and this is the new bottle. Okay. Uh, obviously, now you have the diamonds in here. It's clear. The all, all of them are coming like different colors. This one is more like a bluish turquoise color. Reckless, the original, the original packaging is my first Roja, and it's a fragrance that I've purchased myself. Okay. So even though this bottle in particular was sent to me. The original one, the first bottle, I purchased it myself because I absolutely love, love the scent. Oh, it's, I've tested them side by side just to see if they reformulated the juice or anything like that. It's the same. It's literally the same. For me, Reckless, if you like Love Don't Be Shy from Killian, you are going to fall in love with this one. It's not as gourmand, it's definitely way more floral and it's definitely a very, very refined version of Love Don't Be Shy. Again, they're not the same. Do not think they're the same. It's the same type of orange blossom, but it's so refined and so feminine and so elegant. Again, I purchased this bottle with my own money. It was one of the first like luxury niche brands, luxury niche fragrances that I've purchased. Above this, and I was like, I need it. I just need it in my collection. So I had to get it. Um, I really like their new bottles. I really like the cap especially like the cap it's how beautiful that cap is but yeah if you're maybe looking to buy this fragrance maybe i don't know you're not really a fan of the bottles i still really like the old bottles these are the new bottles that are more in line with their like 
Eau de Parfum collection with their like more expensive fragrances because all of them they have the gemstones in here and um, the essence the old bottle didn't have it so now you have it in here so yeah not necessarily a new fragrance but new packaging i do really like the new packaging i still like the old packaging as well like roja packaging is just amazing in general um now let's move on right let's move on to another fragrance that the notes can be a bit scary but the dry down like the dry down of this fragrance is probably one of the sexiest fragrances I've smelled in my life, okay? And the name, the packaging, everything says it all. From new notes, we have Erotica Minimale. You can see the whole presentation, okay? Here we have the bottle. This fragrance, it's it's so unique again i don't have anything like this in my collection and it's so spicy and normally i'm not the biggest fan of spicy fragrances but this one especially in the dry down okay okay let me tell you some of the notes we have coriander cinnamon geranium rose iris amber vanilla in the opening you're 100 getting coriander you're getting rose and geranium in the opening. If you know me, geranium is not my favorite note. And the coriander is very spicy. Like, it's a spicy, spicy fragrance. The opening, I like. I just, again, it has that geranium that is not for me. But then, five minutes later, that geranium is not as strong anymore. And you start to get the iris. So it's, a, it's getting a little bit powdery. And then you're getting an amber vanilla. So it's gonna be a spicy amber vanilla with some iris and a little bit of geranium and rose. The dry down of this, it smells so, the, the name says it all, Erotica Minimale. It literally smells like the name. It's very sexy, very, I, I don't even know how to describe it, to be honest, because I don't want this video, you know, you to, to just remove it. Because I would definitely describe this fragrance. Like, this is... Just think, I don't know, latex and all of those things. It's a very Fifty Shades of Grey type of fragrance, okay? It starts, like, the iris starts to kick in. And it's not as spicy anymore. And the geranium, it's barely there. Like, this is my favorite part, that iris just makes it very boudoir and very... This is not going to be for everyone, okay? This is not going to be for everyone, especially because, like I said, the opening is very, very spicy. But if you don't mind some spice, leave it for, like, five minutes, and then this is going to be spicy, okay? Uh, but, yeah it's 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 amazing it's amazing why did what they did it's very unique it's very unique i would suggest you, to, you test it first and when you test it just wait five minutes for that dry down because that dry down it's incredible that dry down it's hmm it gives you it has that effect you know like it's doing that it's generally doing that so yeah erotica minimale from your notes a fragrance that you definitely at least need to sample at least you need to sample it okay all right the wait is over i know that all of you wanted my opinion on this new fragrance i'm talking about caramel oud from theodoros calotinis you know that i absolutely love this brand i love the prices i love everything about it when it comes to gourmands he really knows how to do a gourmand and i love the fact that what you see in the name of the fragrance is what you're getting Caramel Oud, I'm going to tell you the notes. You have caramel, you have saffron, you have toffee, and then you have agarwood. And this is what I'm getting. It's definitely a very realistic caramel, a very sticky sweet caramel, but then you're definitely getting the agarwood as well. It's in the name. It's in the name. These are the two main notes. Toffee, maybe a little bit. Saffron, maybe just a little bit. But you're definitely getting a very, very realistic sweet caramel, and then you're getting the oud. 
the wood is not just in the background you can smell it you can definitely smell it this is a gourmand that even though the caramel is very realistic and it smells like food you're getting the wood that makes it smell like a fragrance if you love these two notes you're gonna fall in love with this one okay it's very powerful it's very in your face and again in the dry down i would say the wood is stronger in the opening in the dry down it softens out a little bit and you're getting more of that toffee and it's more like caramel and toffee with still some wood but when in the opening you're definitely getting a heavy heavy dose of caramel and then you're getting a strong wood note i personally really like it i know that wood might scare some people like some people don't necessarily like wood which is understandable sample it first but when it comes to not just a pure gourmand not just like smelling like food when it comes to like a unique take on a fragrance this one is definitely unique even though it's a gourmand like i said the wood is there and it's very unique very potent very in your face I personally really like it, especially again in the dry down when that wood dries down a little bit. Like it's not that intense anymore. I will not say it's just wood. Like don't think it's just wood. You're definitely getting that caramel. But you need to like some wood in your life. Like I said, it's in the name. It's in the name. Everything when he released lemon tart, that fragrance literally smells like lemon tart. Velvet chocolate, chocolate. Coffee addict, coffee. Like what's in the name is what you're getting. This is gonna be amazing during winter time. Like during during winter time, this is gonna be amazing, especially because it performs in the colder weather. It lasts and it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. But yeah, test it if you don't want to blind buy it. But it's a very affordable house in general. So if you blind buy it, you're not gonna and maybe it's not necessarily what what you wanted. You're not gonna like, cry because it's like fifty pounds less than that, I believe. Um, we carry it on the website. We have samples as well. If you're not just tested, but yeah, this is this is such such a unique take on a gourmand. And I, you see wood and vanilla. You see wood and rose. Wood and coffee. But you never ever see wood and caramel. And both of them are extremely extremely realistic in this fragrance. Really really like it. Try it because it's a different fragrance. It's a different wood gourmand. Like there's nothing else there's nothing like this in that smell at least I, I can't i can't i can't think of any other fragrance that has these two notes that prominent and that realistic so you definitely at least need to try it let's move on to a brand that i discovered recently and this fragrance i've actually smelled it in the past let me tell you the story i went to harvey nichols and i really want to try some fragrances from ella k they didn't have the one that I wanted and I was just smelling fragrances and I remembered I really, really liked this fragrance. But there, there was a problem. My partner was with me, so I couldn't buy it because he would think that I'm crazy because I'm spending 200 to like... He doesn't understand. Like, he gets it now. He kind of understands it now, but I, I can't really buy when he's around because he's like, you already have 500 fragrances. Why do you need another one? I'm like, you're right but I need it. Like, it doesn't matter that you're right. I still need it. Um, so yeah, I tested this one like a year ago, maybe two years ago, actually. Fell in love and then did this one it again, completely forgot about it. I've got in here, uh, I'm very bad with French. Again, this one is Lettre de Pushkar. Pushkar? I think it's Pushkar. I'm very bad. I'm really sorry. I'm really trying. Like, what well, I told you before, French is one of those languages that I'm going on Google Translate. I repeat after Google Translate. I'm like, I got it. And then I start recording. I'm like, how was that? Yeah, I'm bad. I'm bad. Yes, yes, yes. I love this one. I freaking love this one. This is rose, saffron, uh, amber, vanilla, nutmeg, cinnamon. You are getting a super, super jammy rose, sweet rose. You're getting the vanilla and then the 
base is kind of like a dry nutmeg with cinnamon. It's so weird because the rose is super sweet and jammy, but then you're getting this dryness from the nutmeg and the cinnamon. At least this is what I'm getting. This is, if you love jammy roses, this is different, first of all, because it has that nutmeg, it has amber, it has like cinnamon, but then it's a jammy rose as well. It's, it's so, I, I freaking love this one. Like, I freaking love this one. The rose is so well done. It's not too rosy. It's literally smells like a jammy rose. It's the opening. It's the opening. It's everything. Honestly, try it at first. At, at least try it. At least try it. I've tested other fragrances from Ella K, and there are two more. There are two more that I really, really, really liked. But if I have to make my top. Probably this one is my favorite one. Obviously, I have Maske and Camellia K. Camellia K got like super popular, and then Maske is their newest release. I think this one is, yeah, this one is definitely my favorite. This one is something that I would wear, like, I would not have to think about it. Oh, it's so good. It's, it's not necessarily a gourmand, again, it's not necessarily a gourmand, but that rose is definitely jammy and sweet. And mm, 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 you need to try it. You need, you need to try it. Right. Oh, how many fragrances do we have left? Five. Five. Let's do it. Two fragrances from Argos. We have, they're not necessarily new releases, uh, but there are some fragrances that I've tested, love them. Uh, we got them on the website, so I, need, I just need a bottle for myself as well. The first one is Danae. Let's just appreciate. Oh, the cup is the wrong way. Their bottles like are insanely beautiful. The packaging it's everything you have the box you have another box inside the box you have the notes you have you have everything like their packaging it's it's just amazing 10 out of 10 probably my favorite packaging that is ex exists honestly that's the box and then you're having the notes in here and obviously the fragrance sits in here then i let's spray it where should we spray it okay here we go if you love the, the Argos DNA, you're going to absolutely love this one. This one has bergamot, Sicilian lemon, pink peppercorn, kayak wood, cedar wood, citrus patchouli, sandalwood. This is what I'm getting. It's like getting the patchouli. It's not dirty patchouli. It's not earthy patchouli. You're getting some woody notes. It's fresh in the same time from that uh, Sicilian lemon and bergamot. Pink peppercorn ma makes sense as well. It's basically a fresh woody fragrance with a little bit of patchouli and very creamy in the same time. Does it have any sandalwood? Because it's very creamy. Yeah, it does have sandalwood as well. This one is definitely unisex. Like I will not consider this one feminine or masculine. And like, it's very powerful. If you know Argos, if you're familiar with Argos, their fragrances are super powerful. Like, I mean, look at that juice. Look at the color of that juice. This one is such, such a beautiful fragrance. Just the right amount of patchouli. Just the right amount. But the next one, let me put the box in here. The next one is my favorite. Okay. Palace Athen. Athene. I think it's Athen. Um... This fragrance, let me show you the bottle. The juice is even darker. I love, I love a good dark juice. Absolutely love it. Um, this is the box. And again, we're having another box inside the box. This time it's going to be white as well. And then you are having the description and then the notes in here. Let me spray it. I think this one and birth of Venus are my favorite ones from Argos, okay? Where is it? Here we have it. Love this one. Love, love, love this one. This one has bergamot, grapefruit, red berry, peony, violet, rose petals, iris, vetiver, patchouli, vanilla. Their fragrances are so complex. That's the thing, like they're so complex. You don't smell just one or two notes. You generally smell all of them. I'm definitely getting the peony, the rose petals. I'm definitely getting 
some berries in the background, the freshness from the bergamot and grapefruit, the violet. I'm getting a bit of violet. It's a bit vanilla. Like well. Literally, you're getting all of the notes. Again, this one, it's unisex. Maybe leaning slightly more feminine just because it's a bit more floral compared to uh, the previous one. But it's such a beautiful, elegant, luxurious. All of them, all of the fragrances from Argos, they just smell very luxurious and very unique. And you can literally smell all of the notes. It's, it's such a weird thing. Like, not so many brands. It, it goes either way, you know. With some brands, it has a billion notes and then you smell just one or two. With this one, it has a billion notes, but you can smell all of them somehow. And this is why it makes it so unique, because you can smell all of these things at the same time, and somehow they work together. Such a beautiful fragrance. Such, such a beautiful fragrance. At least sample them. Honestly, they have um, discovery kits, samples, all of that. Sample them, because they are great fragrances. From the whole collection, which one is my favorite? I think still Birth of Venus. Birth of Venus. Immediately after I sprayed it, I was like, oh my freaking God, this is amazing. I really like so many others, including these two, of, as well, um, obviously. But Birth of Venus, that one is just, that's a masterpiece. That I love that one. I love that one. Anyway, let's move on. I've got three more fragrances. And they're all gourmands. Because we love a good gourmand, okay? The first one, let me start with this one. Oro Rosa from Omnia uh, Profumi. We have, I, I've been raving about Madeira and Rame. And finally, finally, after like months, we managed to get the brand on the website. And I just want, I obviously tested so many things at Piti Fragrance. I met them at Piti Fragrance. And I was like, I need these three fragrances. Well, there's another one, actually, a new release that I really, really want to bring on the website, but it was just not available yet. Oro Rosa. Let me tell you something. I love chocolate fragrances. Okay, the I created the chocolate perfume. A very, very well-known chocolate fragrance that is chocolate and orange, more exactly. It's Symphonium from... Zerzhov. Now, I do have many chocolate orange fragrances. Symphonium just has something unique about it. But Symphonium, in the dry down, it has wood. And I know that many people, if you go on Fragrantica, they're like, the wood is ruining this fragrance because it's so intense in the dry down. I love it. I love Symphonium. This really reminds me of Symphonium, but just better. Like, that fragrance is like 300-something pounds, okay? And yes, I paid that much because I paid that much. This one really reminds me of that, but it's generally better. Oro Rosa has bitter orange, it has tobacco, it has cacao pod. The other orange chocolate fragrances that are on the market are very sweet. So I think that the fact that Symphonium has wood. It's not that sweet. It's a bit more unisex. That's why so many people love it. This one has tobacco instead. It's not a very intense tobacco. Don't think it's going to be an intense tobacco, but you can smell it in the background. Even though it says cacao, it's more like a cacao, like almost chocolate. It's almost chocolate because it's not, it's not powdery. And that chocolate orange smell is so realistic. It's gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous honestly if you ever thought of getting that fragrance get this one instead because it's better it definitely immediately when i sprayed it and like i said i have many chocolate orange fragrances in my collection but immediately when i sprayed it, i was like this kind of reminds me of symphonium but in a better way and this i absolutely love this one absolutely love this one honestly immediately when i smelled it at pity i was like I need it. The next one. Let's talk about the next one. Platino. Is it Platino? I think it's Platino, not Platino. Platino. What's wrong with me? Platino. Platino. If you like whipped cream, super, super sweet, sugary whipped cream, you're going to love this one. Platino has whipped cream. It has coconut. It has caramel. It has... 
milk, like almond milk. It's it's super 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 sweet. That's the thing with many fragrances from Onya Profumi. They're unbelievable sweet and they're unbelievable potent. Like you literally, this is the type of fragrance that it's just eau de parfum. I do not understand how this is just eau de parfum. Just spray it once or twice. Just get a sample. Try to get a sample. Spray, spray it once or twice and then walk around. That's the scent that people are going to smell. It's incredible. If you spray too much, it's going to be too sweet. I'm telling you because this is so potent. If you spray literally just from here, you know, just the sillage, it's literally like a super sugary whipped cream. This is what I'm getting. This is what I'm getting, super sugary whipped cream. And the next one, and the last one that we have in here, white diamante. White diamante has so many notes. This one, it's not as grumad as the previous ones. This one has citruses, it has some chocolate, it has some rose, it has some coffee, it has some vanilla. It has some incense as well. It's definitely incense-y. You're definitely getting the rose and it's not as good. You're getting the coffee. It's like black coffee. Definitely 100% don't think coffee, um, intense cafe from Montalo. It's, it's not that. It's not that. It's definitely not as sweet. It's a bit incense -y. Black coffee, very realistic black coffee in the background with some rose and the incense. And a hint of chocolate maybe, but it's mainly coffee and incense and rose. Don't think it doesn't smell like any of those fragrances that smell like incense cafe. Nothing, nothing like it. This is definitely fall winter. This is definitely not as gourmand, like I said, as the previous two. The previous two like a super gourmand. Um, but this is just for someone that loves black, literally black coffee and loves an incense fragrance without smelling like your inside of a church. So the last scent that we have in here is White Diamante from Omnia Profumi. And that was it for today guys, that was it. Let me know in the comments down below if you tested these fragrances, if you like them, if you don't and all of that. And yeah, that was it for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and like always, I'm gonna see you guys in my next one. Bye bye.